Okay, continuing to uh, set up the mill and lathe. I bought these used. I've got that other video where we uh, unloaded all these things, but um, they came originally with just the like 15 inch normal uh, normal display. So I ordered two of the 19 inch touchscreens from Monoprice. I think they're about two like 275, 280 a piece. Um, got everything all fished through and and got the computers and everything all hooked up. Um, but uh, I fought with this issue and want to want to go ahead and get this out there for anybody else that's doing this. The display when you press so basically I, I, I turn it on it looks like this it gives me this no signal all the computers everything's on. Um, I bought two of them so I switched out the display still didn't work put the old display on it works. I even dug out a laptop that has a VGA port on it plugged it in still didn't work. Well, when you go through, and I thought I was setting this right, on any normal device, you go and you select what you want, and then when you're done, it goes to that. Now, on this, and I grant I had to read the instructions, but uh, if you go through, you have to find where it says PC, and then hit plus, and then it selects it and changes. So, that's the secret to making that work. Um, I did have to... The bracket, I've got it already in here. The the bracket that comes it comes with the arm, I guess. Again, I bought this stuff used, so I, but it looks like it's not a homemade piece because of the way that these screws are countersunk in here. Um, I need to re-drill the holes on a, I think it's a 75 millimeter square pattern. Um, so I did that just on the drill press for this one. But uh, I thought it'd be a good little project to see if I can, through the conversational um, interaction here, go ahead and set this up and drill this now that I've got the mill working so I can get this other one done for the lathe. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. Okay, so we're here in the uh, conversational input. We're on drilling and tapping. Selected drilling. So we got to make a file name. Um, So I've already set, I've got a quarter inch uh, chuck in here with just a drill bit. Um, set the, I've already set the spindle RPM to a thousand, should work for that size. Um, clearing, I guess that's our safe space here. Um, half inch above the, uh, half inch above Z plane. And so now we want to drill four holes basically on a grid. So our first one is, what I, what I think I'm gonna do is just zero it where I want the first hole to be and then have it go off of that. This doesn't have to be super accurate because we're just mounting a monitor. So zero, zero, and then if we do zero, and then what is, let's see, 75, uh, 2.95, let's call it 4. Okay, so we've gone there. So now we do 2.954. And 2.954, and then this one 2.95, some kind of shakes her in a lot, and then zero, and that should give us. Let's see, so we've got peck. I'm not sure whether that's. A good number or not, but we'll see what happens. Um, probably hit enter on that. Now, post a file. Okay, so now we want to load a file. We want to load this one. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got that loaded. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we got an air. Okay, so now it's showing hole, 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 I think. So let's set this. I'm just going to zero it. Zero it where I have it. I'm just gonna run this and see what uh, see what happens now. Um, so we'll zero both of those just for fun. And I got Z up really far, so we'll just see what uh, see what happens here. We've got spindle on. Cycle start. That looked pretty good. Might be uh, might be time to go ahead and get rid of my drill press because uh, that's a pretty quick way to drill holes with you know good accuracy. And even if you didn't, you just need to drill one hole. You just go in, punch it in, hit zero zero, and let it roll. Um, okay, well let me uh, get everything repositioned and we'll watch this thing actually do something. So we're on Z zero. We're at a height that looks about right. So we'll go ahead and get going. Well, it still didn't quite clear. You know what I think it is? When I went in and put this in, this isn't, I, did, I didn't put the, the uh, indicator on this and make sure that this was all perfect because I'm not, you know, it's just a monitor bracket. Um, so I think that's why it didn't clear out all the holes, but it looks like that's gonna work. So back to this monitor here. Reuse the screws, come with the normal stand. Well, that's perfect, and that's faster than uh, faster than when I did it on the did it on the drill press and kind of just half referenced the holes and. Drilled them out a little big with a step bit, so yeah, monitor bracket. So I'm really happy with the 19-inch uh, touchscreen. That seems to be a really good size. They do make one that's that's bigger, um, but it's not the 4x3 profile with this. And I saw a picture. 
I don't know if somebody if it was a touch screen that somebody's running, but I think Pathpilot looks a little strange um, when you're not running it in 4x3, so I think the 19 is probably the way to go. Um, I know a few people, you know, I think uh, NYC CNC, he did a video with one with a 17, but I think it's worth the extra money just to go up in size. This is, this is a good size to fit with the machine, and all the buttons are, you know, makes it a good size for, for being able to push them real easy. Um, as you saw, I just started with this thing, and it wasn't giving me any issues as far as going through the different menus. Um, so in conversational, so we can do engraving pretty quick. Um, here we can do thread milling, and then we are in here in the drill drill and tap so basically we can go through every operation that we're you know just manually would do on a manual machine and and input it here and do it do it in a really precise way so I think that's going to be pretty powerful when you just want to take a little take something and throw it in there and either like what I was doing it wasn't a real technical operation but just drill four holes and you want them to be set in you know uh, X and Y you know their position in X and Y to be be referenced, and that's the important part. Um, you know you can do it do it real quick versus what I did on a drill press that took uh, took a bit longer. Um, so yeah, this might uh, might replace my drill my uh, drill press just to make a little more room here. But I still probably need that for for woodworking stuff, and uh, yeah, you never know. So I might as well hold on to it. But uh, anyway, so you can face profile pocket tap drill thread mill engrave. Um, let's see, we've got the setup for the probe. I've still got a bunch of stuff. These uh, machines weren't were set up as sort of a basic setup when I bought them. Um, so I'm going to be adding uh, adding the tool changer and the turret, and I'm probably going to work on building an enclosure. Um, the idea is that uh, instead of spending two thousand dollars plus on a uh, on an enclosure, I'll spend that on a sheet metal break, um, a Bailey uh, magnetic sheet metal break. But I got to get my got to get my plasma table finished, and um, hopefully by then, uh, Fusion 360 will have the sheet metal components put in um, to be able to design sheet metal stuff and and uh, put the bends and everything in there, and then just be able to load that onto the plasma, have it blow that out, and then bend it up because um, I think that'll be pretty interesting. But I think that'll uh, that'll do it for this video. I'm I'm a big fan so far of the 19-inch uh, touchscreen. Like I said, I got this at mono price. Everything seemed to work well, other than that stupid um, setting the input. But that was more just not reading the directions. But I went through a lot of screwing around before uh, before I figured that out. So hope saving hope to save somebody else some time if they uh, you know run into that same issue.